Hey everybody, welcome back to the channel. Uh, today, I'm going to be doing something a little bit different. Um, and you, if you're looking at the title, you're probably wondering, wait Matt, haven't you already done one of these before? And you're right, I have. Uh, I've been slowly doing a series in a, in a virtual machine, creating a basic VimRC for people who just want to create you know, a basic VimRC. And obviously I don't use that because I use something a little bit more complicated and I st the one I use is something that I stole from somebody on the internet you know purloined per per <laughs> uh, from somebody on, on the internet and um, you know that's fine but I think I'm gonna have uh, it, the one that I've been using is just so so I'm gonna I'm gonna actually show you the one that I've been using so let's um, Switch to the main screen here and CD into down, and just do this LS thing. If you see this over here on the right hand side, these this is the one that I used to use. It has all these extra things, it has tons of plugins and all this stuff. And it's great. It's came from a guy named Chris at Machine. He's a, a, a Linux YouTuber. He does mostly Vim stuff. And it's really good and it's really awesome. And it's just way too much for me. There's just so much stuff there that I just don't need. And so I've decided to go through and create my own um, little config that I can be proud of. That's something that's mostly mine. I'm going to obviously I'm going to use. I've kept the one I used to use so that I can use it as kind of a um, uh, you know outline or a reference or whatever. And so that's what I'm going to do. Um, but for the most part, it will be mine. And it's going to be much more minimal than what it, it was uh, with him. So. Uh, the, I've, I've actually tried to do this video once before, so I've, I'm a little bit farther along than I would be, you know, normal, so I am not know if I'm going to go through and do a video on this entire process. This is just kind of the beginning to show that I'm going to do it. Um, this is more for me, I guess. Uh, it's also not a tutorial, like, at all. I know that, uh, unless one of my videos say how to do this, it's not a tutorial, it's just a, this is my, my video, I'm doing it, and maybe you want to watch me do it. Um. So, so far, I've moved all the uh, old stuff out of the nvim config file in .config, and I've created some directories, general, key bindings, plugins, and the init.vim. So, I'm, right now, I'm going to go into general and create a um, general.vim file, okay, and then I'm going to go up a level and cd into key bindings and create a key bindings dot vim file and cd up a level cd into plugins and do a plugins dot vim file and then i'm going to up oh, i'm going to see up a level and i'm going to zoom in so i always i always forget to zoom in so people can actually see this. So let's clear that out a little bit. Um, and then we're going to vim into init.vim. And right now this is blank. So I'm actually going to clear out of this here too. Zoom in. Zoom out just a little bit. And um, cd, cd.config slash and vim. That way I can see the pass and remember the pass. So I need to do this. Uh, if you're going to create a nvim or vim uh, configuration file like this where they're kind of all separate, your init.vim is actually where you source all those things. So it's literally called sourcing. So let's get into insert mode here and do source um, dollar sign home slash oops home slash slash dot config. I'm going to slash uh, general slash general dot vim okay and we do the same thing source dollar sign home slash dot config oops you can tell i've used uh, i used to have autocomplete but it's not here anymore because i'm creating a new one so key binding slash key binding dot vim source dollar sign oops dollar sign home slash dot config slash plugins slash plugins dot them okay and we can 
write that. Now, if we do we go over here and we want to actually, we're going to go back over here. Oops. And we just close out of that and um, CD plugins. We're going to do start, start with some plugins here. And I want to actually go back to the old one and so I can use that for reference. So, CD downloads, get things, and Vim. CD um, Vim plug. Vim plugins.vim. Uh, I can't remember. I think it's called something else. No, it's actually called Vim plugins.vim. Okay. Okay. And that's fine. I just need to see it. Okay. Begin mainly because I need to rem I need to um I need uh I need to remember how to actually call in Vim plug. And I'm still actually going to have to go through and uninstall all the uh things. So I, I need this line here and that goes all the way down to do 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 do. Uh, this line here uh, so I think and if so where's the where's the if opening if statement I think that if statement has something to do with v VS code if exists yeah VS code I'm not gonna be using VS code I don't need them to be an IDE I'm not a programmer that's one of the reasons why I'm switching because this has all the stuff for like programming I'm just not a a, 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 a program programmer so um, this if statement here auto loads uh, the stuff. I may put this back in, but right now I don't need it. So let's uh, so vim plugins dot vim. Oops, I wonder what that was all about. I should have actually read that error. I guess uh, it doesn't matter. So we need to do call insert call call plug pound sign pound sign begin um and i think you can just use um open and close parentheses here and and the end of it is all the way down here call plug uh end and then open and close okay and I think I can just write that. Yeah. Um, and I can go through and do um, plug. Never. Clean up. I can't remember. Oops. I'm going to actually have to go actually look at that because I can't remember. Let me open a browser by my mother monitor and look at look for the syntax for vim plug. <sighs> this is on GitHub. I'll put a link to this in the show notes description. Um, I already have plug installed, so I shouldn't have to install it. Um, That it's showing that this actually has to have a, a line here, yeah, because he has auto load dot plugged. Okay, um, so maybe I have to actually re go through and re curl that again. Um, create directory. Hmm. I suppose I could just do this and work. so it's an auto load slash plugged. So CD dot dot ls CD auto load ls and CD plugged ls. So look at all that. These are this has all the plugins actually installed. All right, so here's what I need to do. 
I need to uh, let's see. get out of this cd up cd.config I went all the way to the top so make directory auto load I think is what it was I think that's what it was yeah auto load yep okay um, it's a cd auto load actually, I don't actually need to see it I just need to cd it back into plugins and then plugins.vim and let's see that's what this is can't open file detected while processing why can't it open the file it doesn't say why you can't why it can't open the file I'm guessing because why well, can't open the file the path is right hmm error detected can't open file right I know what line it is but why can't you tell me what the problem is I'll have to look here in a minute it doesn't matter right now um actually what I need to do is make it bigger CD CD plugins Right now, it doesn't matter. Um, this is just a tilde slash dot config slash nvim slash auto load slash plugged. That's just telling, I believe that's just telling Vimplug where to install things, the plugins. Uh, so that's actually there. Okay, so let's uh, quit out of that and CD up a level. And them in it dot vim here. Yes, I know I'm gonna cd dot dot cd yes, vim in it dot vim. All right. Now the question is, why can't? Why isn't it recognizing? Mine look exactly like these. Dot config. I'm a bloody moron because those aren't the right paths, you moron. Oh, for crying out loud. I might as well just retire. This is stupid. Slash end them. There we go. Hello. <laughs> Seriously. <laughs> this, is, <laughs> this is the dumbest mistake ever. <laughs> What is wrong with me? <laughs> it's so terrible. <laughs> okay. Um, all right. Now we can write and close this. Now we shouldn't get that error anymore. Instead, we got okay. Invalid expression in plugged. New value arguments for function plug begin. Called without calling plug begin. Did I miss? I'm a. I have to. I have to have misspelled it. Because that seems to be what I'm doing. CD plugins. Vim init dot vim. Yes. Oops, that dumbass. Vim. <laughs> plugins dot vim. There we go. Yes. Uh, plug begin. Vim plug, Vim plugins dot Vim. Yes. Call plug begin parentheses tilde slash. Mm, there has to be um. There has to be these little things. Uh, I guess those are called uh. Quota those aren't quotation marks, those are apostrophes. 
Uh, single quotation marks, I guess. Now, does the end of it have to have anything in, inside it? No. Okay. Now, W quit. Now, do this again. No errors. There are no errors. Good. All right. So, let's see here. We have to do uh, plug... So, colon plug clean and plug clean already clean okay plug diff there's no plugins installed okay that's good so you actually go at you don't you can just in order to uninstall things in vim you just move the folder i did not know that um okay so let's find us some plugins that actually i actually need um so i just do, oops x mode is the stupidest mode ever um I don't know what X mode is. Obviously, I'm not a you know a big Vim user. <laughs> I'm assuming it's a big important thing, but I never you know. All right, we're gonna find us a, a few plugins here. I'm just gonna use his list because it's just easier. Okay. So we don't need comments. We don't need better dates. We don't need. Uh, any of this stuff here that we don't need to repeat stuff we don't need need uh, highlight all c matches under cursor I don't really need that um, oops so I like surround a lot okay so plug let's create some line, some space here plug t pop t p o p e slash vim slash surround okay and another one we don't need we don't need rooter we don't need sloth we don't need polyglot I think we also want this auto pairs one um, so that I can, because I don't, yeah, I think I want auto pairs. So plug G I A J, that's J, G, J, J, same sound. Uh, Gian, G, no. there's no way I spelled that right. J I A N G M I A O slash Vim. Excuse me. Slash auto pairs. Okay. I think I also want the close tag. Plug L then slash them close tag. Okay. I don't need. Uh, I'll work on the theming later. Uh, eventually, I think I probably will reinstall uh, COC. I liked the autocomplete kind of thing, but I don't think I really need it. It's so bloated for if you're not going to use it all the time. And I just don't use it all the time. Most of the time, it just gets in the bloody way. All right, so I do want airline. But I think I'm going to have to wait because there's a, a, a call out in init.vim that you need in order to use airline. And um, I'm gonna have to look that up. Oops. So eventually, I think I'll po probably also add FZF, uh, but right now I don't need it. Uh, I don't need any of this stuff. 
I think I'm going to go ahead and use Startify. I did like that. So plug uh, M-H-I-N-Z slash Vim dash Startify. Okay. Um, I don't need Goyo. I don't need snippets, at least right now. Um, mm. Eventually, I'm going to install that Markdown preview one, but I don't need that right in this second. And I think I'm going to leave the colorizer out right now as well. I think we're close to the end. So I do want VimWiki. I do want, because I'm going to be moving from Zim to VimWiki, and I want some an actual VimWiki, you know, to work. So I'm going to do plug. That's not how you do VimWiki, though. Um, I at least I don't think so. Installation with plug. Using Vimplug. Yeah, that's what I. That's why this is this this is a weird implementation implementation of Vimwiki. I, I suppose it probably works, but it, it would work better this way. Um, Vimwiki slash Vimwiki. That's literally it. <laughs> I don't know why I did the this seem this seems unnecessary. Okay, I think that's what we're going to do. So we're gonna close this and we're gonna save this and we're gonna do plug install. No plug plugging into it. Do I have to quit out of this? Okay. Huzzah! We're installed. Okay, so close out of this and see if um, VimWiki will install just leader ww. Yep. And we have VimWiki. <laughs> yes! <laughs> it works. Alright. Good. Good. Alright, so let's see if Startify works. Startify works. Good. I know there's a way to, to uh, um, go through and you know, customize this and I'll do that. But I think that is where I'm going to stop the video for now. Um, make sure I was actually recording this whole thing because that would have been terrible if I wasn't. I wasn't. I was. Good. Anyways, so that is a little start at creating my very own personal NeoVim config. Now, I know technically I was just going through and, you know, copying somebody else's, but I've actually, you know, typed the things in. I understand what I was doing. When I had errors, I went through and fixed the errors, mostly because I, you know, typing in paths is apparently too hard for my small brain. <laughs> it's so it's stupid. I mean, some of these mistakes I just made are just so dumb. <laughs> Anyways, if you like this video, give it a thumbs up. If you didn't like this video, give it a thumbs down. If you want more of this utter nonsense give us a subscribe if you'd like to support the channel you can do so patreon.com slash the linux cast uh we really do appreciate any dollars that come our way right now we have no dollars um, but we're just starting so we'll uh continue on carry on and uh i don't know when this video will come by i think this video goes up after christmas so i hope you had a very happy christmas um or happy hanukkah or uh, any of the other holidays that happen around this end of the year um 2020 is almost over people thank god we'll uh see you next time thanks for watching